Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. I want to talk about beginning and specifically beginning before you're ready because actually art making is the practice <laughs> of learning how to begin before you're ready. And this took me a long time to realize this and I just am seeing it so much. I keep seeing it over and over and over again. You know, when I was starting out making art, uh, I thought it was because I was learning uh, how to do this. Th that's why it was so hard to start and get going. And then I thought, well, once I learn a certain process, it's, I'll be able to just start really easily. And But, you know, <laughs> it, and I think a lot of you listening could, could attest to this, it, it actually never, that resistance never goes away. And it never goes away because if you're authentically like trying to make art and trying to change and grow, you're never ready before you start. You start and you're not sure. And then you figure it out. And yes, when you look back, you can see you're, you're ready when you look back. It all makes sense. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't when you begin. And in most things we do, we're, we prepare. I mean, you wouldn't, you know, if you're going to give a speech, it's like you better prepare for that. You better be ready to do that thing. If you're going to, you know, whatever, take a test or most things in life, you, you prepare, you get ready before that thing. But in art, you, you just have to kind of start um, without knowing sometimes. And that, that's hard. But art is that. And that's cool that we practice that because that's the practice. That's how we learn how to start that. And then we can use that in our life. We can use starting something without knowing. It's like, well, I've never done X. Well, I, that's what I do in my art practice. I'm just going to start and figure it out as I go along. I'm just going to begin it. And that is a huge step to overcome. I mean, <laughs> I've always feel that resistance though, still. And I just don't think it's ever going to go away. And I'd be curious <laughs> what you guys think about that. If, you know, because I remember in my old house, there was a, um, a pantry that was kind of these big shelves that were where all the cookies were. <laughs> and it was on the way to my studio. And I would always go that way on the way to the studio. And I got in this habit of, I had to, I had to eat a cookie. Like that was my incentive to get me going to the studio. It was crazy. I had this habit, you know, of, of, cause I, cause it was hard. I was heading into this fire. Um, so it, there's always, there's, there's always this resistance and it takes energy to overcome that. But the thing is you having that energy, putting that energy, the upfront energy, anything that you have to work at, put upfront energy into the amount that you put up front is it directly relates to the outcome and how cool it is and how amazing it is that up things that you put energy up front things that you invest in often return much greater in art that's so so true with art making you know um the 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 way that you can kind of work around this just understanding that that's why it's hard but also the, the hack around this is to be playing to because playing if you can think of it as a playing and having that lightheartedness i'm going to play with this and not take it too seriously and i'm going to experiment for 20 minutes playing allows you to um enter it in and and it's not a you have no intention of knowing where you're going there's like, you see kids on a playground, they don't have a plan. <laughs> There's no plan for, you know, Foursquare or whatever, or, you know, tag. It just erupts. It just happens and it riffs off of each other. And so that's, that's a, a way to ease that, um, you know, not being ready before you start challenge. Um, but it's a constant and it's always there and we need to use it to get better at it in our art and then also leverage it in our life because that's where all the gold and the cool stuff is that we can do and achieve and accomplish in our life so that's what i've been thinking about and i'd love to hear your comments and um let me know great thanks a lot